Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of bi weekly contest 39. Uh, minimum jumps to reach home. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and ask me questions. Uh, and let's go over this poem. So, there is one hard part about this poem, um, for me anyway, is to kind of prove the bounds. Uh, so, hmm, I don't have that test case that I failed on but but the short answer uh and how to solve this is just um breath first search so the tricky thing is that um you know that we might have to think of the bounds for this one which we'll go over in a second but the idea it, uh with behind the breath first search is that you know you have these states and you have to figure out the shortest path between uh, a, a variation of this graph and the key thing to note is that, and if you have dynamic programming background, you're kind of, um, you know, maybe it, it becomes easier. That's, that's that same kind of logic in that the thing that jumps at you is that it cannot jump backwards twice in a row. So what that means is that you can jump backwards, but not twice in a row. So you have to keep track of that as a state. Um, and once you do that, once you realize that, the problem becomes easier. I actually, uh, if you kind of look at the rankings, I actually finished, or oh, I had two wrong answers because I was just dumb. I literally, and you could watch this afterwards, but I literally forgot to implement the forbidden part, um, which which was kind of dumb because I, 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 I set this up and then I just forgot to check for it. Um, but yeah, but once the, so that's basically my state is that, okay, right, the state is, um, my current location and also whether whether we, we the last move was a backwards jump so once we do that then we can go um, we could just check the states right with the scene and that's basically all my code and I'm going to explain this here now and D is just the distance uh, this is basic this is how I write uh, breath first search in Python there are different ways but it's, the idea is still the same um Basically, we check, you know, that it is not forbidden. I convert it to a set so that it's quicker. Um, we make sure that we go out of bounds, but not too much. Um, I think this is actually a little bit wrong. Hmm. But, but yeah, um, we could go out of bounds, but not so much that we come back. I have to prove this. During the contest, I had a wrong variation of this and I kind of hacked this to be uh, big enough so that if it passes, but I don't really have... Um... But yeah, but I need to kind of... Mm -hmm. I need to double check on this one. Um, and then just to make sure that we haven't been here before because you don't go into the infinite loop. And that's pretty much it. So this is jumping forward. This is jumping backwards again. The tricky part is no, you you know, if, if our last move was a backwards move, we don't want to do it again. So that's what we use this use status for. The rest is pretty straightforward. Is that, you know, we check that the last move is not forbidden. It is greater than zero, and that it is not seen. Uh, that means that we haven't been there yet, and then we breath first search. Um, yeah. So what is the complexity of this? Right. Well, this this in time complexity. Um, well, considering that X, or yeah, we, we're trying to get to X, we, we will look at each, um, each cell at most twice, right? Once for using one backward move and another time for using two back or, um, having not used a backward move. So, so it's going to be two times N or two times X in this case, uh, or O of, O of X. In terms of space, we use Q, so again, it's going to be two, two times X, and we have a couple of things of set and forbidden. Uh, forbidden, you could use another variable to denote it in terms of time and space, but you know we do, um, we do a set check. So we do speed it up instead of doing a list check. Um, we we able to do constant time or log n time, depending on how you want to talk about it, but that's basically the complexity, and we do it for each item. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this problem. It's actually kind of 
you know, it's just by for search. But I would also say that this was, um, let me look at the difficulty. This used, I think this used to be, would have been a Q4 on, on the code. So I guess things have gotten harder. Um, but I would say this, yeah, and if you're not able to uh, return the thing, you go negative one, and we just have X here. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this problem. I think it's not hard, but it's also not easy. The hard part is that um, just looking at being able to look at the states of this problem, which is a like skill that comes hand to hand also with dynamic programming. So if you're a little bit weaker in dynamic programming or certain types of dynamic programming, anyway, uh, I could see that. You know, this may be a little bit trickier, um, but once you kind of, you know, work on your dynamic programming and able to kind of define your distinct states and sub-problems, uh, this will become easier um, in kind of like the identification technique. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, you could watch me mess up twice during the contest for this problem, and that will start now. Almost got a five-minute penalty.
missing something. Ooh. I should have double checked it. Oh, I forgot about forbidden. I knew it. I knew it. Ah. Uh. I was like, I I am forgetting something, but I can't remember what. But uh, dumb. Okay, well now I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> penalties Mm, don't get it. Let me go to one seventy eight. I'm misreading someone. Jeez.
I should have done that. Huh, really dumb. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know if you have any more questions about this problem or another problem. Uh, I will see y'all next problem. Bye-bye.